Hey guys, what's up? We're gonna be watching the uh, new Nintendo Direct today. Unfortunately, I wasn't here to actually catch it in full while I was live because I was at work. But now we are here, and now I'm excited, and we are going to see this. And luckily, I did not get spoiled, so we are going to keep on going. Because unfortunately, on um, Nintendo timestamp their videos now, so um, I can't get spoiled that. But um, honestly, I don't mind because this is really awesome. So new Mario and Luigi game basically. So crazy. This is pretty cool actually. Cool, there's gonna be a new one for Switch. Oh wow, but it's like 3D though. It's like the 2.5D type of situation. And it has a nice art style too. I love that. This looks great, wow. I don't know what's in this direct, but I have a feeling I'm gonna like it way better than um, the entirety of um, Summer's Game Pass. <laughs> Only kept with such a little... the whole thing. You I love the enemy designs. They, um... have a lot of personality to them, you know? They're not like, you know, generic enemies. I'm really loving this art style. I wonder if it's um multiplayer. That'd be kind of cool. Wow. The music is good too. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna pop along. Love me some Fire Mario music. This looks really great. I can't go with the art style. Wow. Mario and Luigi. Brothership. Interesting. This year, November, okay. Couple more months, couple more months. Hello everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Hello. I always love seeing this guy. New entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Has been nine years? Wow. Brothership. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that unfolds across mysterious islands, as well as so all bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Okay, let's see the first batch of headlines. Okay, let's go. Bring the championships home or on the go. Oh yeah, I think I think we heard about this. Yeah, I believe this is not new for me. I think we heard about this actually. The championship. Yeah, this is this is really fun. This is a really um, fun thing that they're adding. You know, really cool. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. You can also wow. try more difficult legend challenges. Like completing super. Also, I apologize if my VTuber model is um blocking text or something that's like important. Um trust challenge? and believe I do see it, but you guys probably just don't. For handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to oh, wow, that's your survival mode. Where you'll race against and it's multiple, yeah. players worldwide. After each round, I mean, I'll hope so, especially with all like the 99 stuff they've been doing. I hope these are like multiplayer, you know, type of experiences at this point. This is really cool, actually adding a bit to it. That's nice. Oh, and that's my birthday month. That's like two days uh, before my birthday. Well, and my birthday is like July 20th. That's cool. I love that. Oh, and you guys get a special set. I didn't expect them to go so hard on this, you know. I thought it was going to be like a simple little, you know, drop. That's kind of cool, actually. The final battle of fairy tale. Fairy tale. A fairy tale game. <laughs> Interesting. That's cool that fairy tale is gonna be a new game. I didn't expect it. I'm gonna be honest, but that's cool. This looks so dope. Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Engage in real time battles and unleash powerful attacks that feel like different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Wait, is it like a miso type game where you had to destroy whole enemies? 
Work together with your teammates so to take down powerful enemies. I haven't watched this anime in years, but I, I, you know, I like for what it is. I know a lot of people trash on it, you know. You know, and that's a word too, but, you know, I kind of have a soft spot for it. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Okay. From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi. Interesting. Okay. Composer Nobuo Uematsu Is this like a side project for him? The turn-based RPG Fantasian. The Fantasian. The robbed of its civilization. Mm. To restore his memories, Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. Skills are the ticket to winning battles. Adjust a skill. What is like when they um multiple enemies at once? What is I guess it's not like a Final Fantasy proper like spin off series, but I think it was just okay doing like his own little side thing, but um This is I like when they do these, you know. Between like, you know, the bigger Final Fantasies. And people generally do love these some type of games too, so Is that like a girl? God, I can't even tell what that character is like. I mean, we stand a charge and don't get me wrong. I'm just curious. And I like how it's like vaguely, like it's close to Final Fantasy, but it's not. Like, you know, it's called Fantasian. They're still supporting this game? No way. Honestly, the why here is definitely not as good as, you know, the original Wii Sports, you know. But it's good that they added more. Pass. I do like, you know, and the um design of the game too. In two -on -two matches, using motion the only thing that might be a bit off for people and still me is like the uh Try the replacement for the Miis. These guys look really weird. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Time limit. Up to four players can also compete in oh, four players. Oh, that's battle. cool. I love that. Besides local play. You can team up I feel like this game should be more wide. bigger than it is, but it's just matches. not because I don't know. I feel like they took too long, like with updating like new content and stuff like that, and maybe and this like like the fact that this is this come out is kind of crazy. Oh, men's free though. That's good at least. What's this? And what's going on here? Whoa. I like the character design. I appreciate it a lot. Interesting and striking art style. Okay. Love the art style. Nice solid combat platform. Ooh, you can use the hair to get around. That's nice. That's kind of cool, actually. I love that. Mio 2025. Ooh. An array of cartoon classics. Oh, what's this going to be about? Leap into a new update for Disney Illusion. Oh Play. yeah, this was the game they announced. I guess we're gonna get like a lot of games with um from um, like old cartoons or whatnot, or just cartoons in general. And I like gonna lie, people would. Use the I feel like a lot of people think this looks kind of like cheap and kind of like weird, but I think it has like a lot of charm to it. I've not played it, mind you. I don't know if I'm gonna play on again, there, but it just looks like it could be, you know, kind of interesting. Hello Kitty, is this a Sangria game? What's going on here? I friend Jack will like love this. <laughs> this is really cute. Karomi, I do love me some Karomi. Wow. This is so crazy because I know like a lot of people do not care about this, but my friends love Sangria. And can I give the Emerald Crossing vibes too? Let's get loony in this wacky sports game. Wow. Look at all these cool games with like these this interesting art styles, you know? 
Like, you can tell they're trying to go for, like, the, uh, the full power of cartoony, like, local hood. With, like, a crazy spin on it. Watch out for falling this is really solid. I love this. Crashes onto Nintendo Switch this fall. What's up, Doc? That's all, folks. Let's see if you can be a game on. <laughs> Emergency meeting. New oh, among us. and imposter roles are being added to Among Us. Cool. I will say it's amazing how um, that team is, you know, keeping the game going on and like keeping things interesting now. And, and keeping some relevance, you know, still. That's amazing. And all these free updates for all these games. I love that, you know. And people who stuff. Is that your command? Is that Fairy Tale too? What does that look like a Fairy Tale character? Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital Like, role doesn't the art style kind of remind you of Fairy Tale? Yeah, totally. Is he like doing? The, is the uh, creator doing art for this game? That looks and that looks like um Jagnail or whatever. I think the creator is doing the art for this game. Kind of like um. I could tell you in like in Dragon Quest and stuff like that and Clone Trigger. They can then be trained for battle. This looks cool. Give commands to your monsters. Very chaotic though. Enemy weaknesses in action packed combat. It's kinda like Merge all of the battle buddies in your party. Battle buddies in party. Is it kind of, I was gonna say, is it gonna like it's kinda like Pikmin? You have these um, all these little things doing pigment and stuff for you. You like you're farming and whatnot and attacking, defending like pigment. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of pigment like a lot. Not saying that's a bad thing, but it's kind of cool. Oh, marvelous! Awesome. <gasps> Donkey Kong. Ah. Uh... Donkey Kong oh. Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch. Oh, this is the HD. HD. Okay, I see, I see. I mean, you know, it's, it's, that's still nice, you know, that we're going to HD port. You know, I might as well, especially as the Switch is ending too. They want to get, you know, these type of games out. They fill in the year, you know, between this and the Switch too. Which they did announce nothing in this direct, by the way. So. So I'm gonna hit by that later. But they're no match for these top bananas. Ooh. Minecarts. Game even after all these years still looks solid. Still nice. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of transportation methods available. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. Uh, I love that silhouette stage with the black. The appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Oh, cool! So it's kind of like an open version, so you can everything, everything. Wow! Kong Country returns a lot. HD swings onto the Nintendo Switch system. Mm -hmm. January I love that music. So great music. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Looks amazing. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. Okay, let's see. The time is nigh. What is this? Ah! Oh! It's this Dragon Quest, uh... Dragon Quest Octopath? This looks beautiful. Did we hear about this before? I can't remember. Why do I really think I remember it? Either way, looks amazing. Guys, can you guys imagine if they did like a Pokemon Black and White? But they did it in the Octopath sure. Traveler Alex. style? Like I would die. The arch like I would love that so much. On an epic adventure. This looks so great. This engine has been Memorable doing encounters. wonders for so many of the like you know games like done in this style. Like the HD 2D thing, like it's so great. I feel like with the games they get better and better looking. It's so crazy. Like animations and stuff, and, like how they mix in the 3D and the 2D and the pixel art and everything, like it's so nice. Like it's so awesome. 
forge your own path. I'm so happy. <laughs> this I I love when um they make these games, honestly. And you don't want for Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest 3. Dude. If they do one for Chrono Trigger, guys imagine Chrono Trigger. Ooh, we'll go crazy. And all these 2024 games, I love this. That's gonna be a good game that a lot of people are gonna it's gonna keep people busy. I was like, why is it was it why was it frozen for so long? Oh, is these is are more games coming? Wait, and that's coming twenty. Wow, that's kind of cool actually. So you get one, two, and three. Holy crap! Uh, hey, it's worth it too, because like that engine is so good. People are gonna buy those up. Oh. And one of these also come to the on um, Switch too, because of the uh, next year thing. Kettesimashita.次期で物語の始めとなっており、次ワンツーの順番でプレイしてもらうと、あとどの展開が待っています。こと三部作となる次と、ワンドツー、どちらも無事楽しんでもらえたら嬉しいです。Thank you, Mr. Sorry if I was moving crazy for a second. I was uh, looking to the side. I was grabbing my South Patch Kids. Let's continue with more headlines. Eating while reacting. Bunko. Is that Scott Pilgrim? What the hell? Jaws? Jaws? Nice. Great Scott. Is that Marty McFly? Dude. The world of fun it's crazy seeing Pot Scott pick him in like another video game somehow. For, like, it's not... for now? You know? Even though I feel like visually this game could look a bit better. This, this is a nice idea. You have all these properties, these, all these properties and stuff, and like are these cool Funkos? Like, yeah, make like a cool game crossover multiverse thing. You know, crazy with it. I would wish I wish visually it was a bit more um, ambitious, you know, especially with you know the whole Funko thing. But this looks nice. I love it. I was described to them being in that game. So crazy. Even if it's just like a this type of game. Silly and strategic games. Okay, let's see. Ready for an adventure of ghoulish Oh yeah, HD too. Yeah, Luigi Mansion too. HD. Nice, nice. And explore multiple mansions filled with goofy ghosts. I apologize. That was me opening my bag. And other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Cool, Pre cool. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Meet the quirky little <gasps> Dampa Man. Find him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful RPG adventure. Now nah, kind of gaps because I thought that was like Tommy got you something. I got Tommy got you too, and I kind of got too excited for a second. However you'd like. And more. That would be kind of crazy because me and Keith have been, me and my friend Keith have been kind of talking about that, so that would be insane. Dampa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch, July 22nd. Strategize this Contra? Whatever. Oh, Metal series. Slug. Oh, wrong one. Take control of your I always get that in Contra mixed up. That might sound stupid, but we am not like a super duper fan of the series, and they kind of look similar to me, so attack me. But yeah, yeah, yeah. more Metal Slug stuff. So. Oh, the fans are excited about this. I can't say much about it because I don't really play it, but. Oh, hey! Same day drop, too! Shower drop, amazing. Now you guys must be really happy. People who care about that. Oh wow, they're making a sequel to the game? No way. This was late actually, I love that. Another game with a cool, interesting art style and like, you know, combat system. Yeah. 
I do remember when the first one came out. I was like, oh, the game looks so interesting. I didn't really play it, but it was a gameplay of it, and people play it. Looks really enticing. I also love how it looks so much. More classic titles are on the way. Oh, cool. Let's see. Play Link's classic 16-bit adventure and team cool, up online cool. to explore randomized dungeons in The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past Four Swords. Experience Metroid, nice, nice, nice. Love that. Metroid, zero mission. Plus, Coming to the new Nintendo 64 Which was Nintendo empty. Switch Online Mature 17 Plus Collection of Games. Interesting. Okay. Brave the dangerous lost land to That's stop awesome. the campaigner's nefarious schemes. Or to walk, I do not a game. Dinosaur Hunter. And. Silence inside my bed. Oh, what's this? Oh, wow! Oh, look at dog! Cool, 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 awesome! I love this. I wish the new one wasn't on the, um, Welcome to only the Xbox. Hope it, oh, hoping it was coming to the Switch too, also. Who knows, maybe in the future, who knows. I love it if they come to the Switch too. This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. What is this? They also have a mantra or something. Join her on a journey to save her friend Ash. What was that one game that came out on Switch not too long ago? Like they had like a couple of them on Switch. In this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. Take on tactical turn-based battles. On the fame level was like real for a second. Phantoms you befriended with mm. objects in various ways. So just based on the gameplay alone, I uh, don't think this is a game I'd be supposed to be playing, but um I'm sure this is for someone out there for sure. Cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or Combined with Morona herself for show stopping abilities that can turn the tide. The music is nice though. Loud the music. Phantom Brain, the Lost Hero, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Okay, cool. This one's gonna take you for a ride. Oh, Marvel's Capcom 2? I'm taking you for a ride. Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch. And that's cool. One collection. This is always really fun. X Men versus Street Fighter. Duke it out in Marvel versus cool, cool. Two New Age of Heroes. That's nice to have that on Switch. Take down Good the game. Pin in the beat em up side scroll of the oh, bunch of game. I didn't know yet. Oh, wow. It's heroes and. Hit up cool. training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. I bet a lot of people are going to be on that Marvel's Capcom 2 like crazy, though. The world. More than anything. Or play co-op in the Punisher. I'm cool. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music cool. from each game. I love artwork and concept art stuff. Ding, 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 ding. Capcom fighting collection. That song is so simple, but it's so fun to listen to and so like iconic. No. Ah, what's this? Another Mario Party? The latest game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Oh wow! So I just went to like Atlanta, like with my friends, and like we were playing Mario Party, Mario Party like crazy. Jamboree! Wow! Some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. I got a new board look already. Take the escalators to travel between floors in. Wow! Fun concept! I love this! To get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. But oh, Ninji! Ride around and I've got a Mario Kart like coast. Roll em raceway. With the new turbo I was about to say that other coast reminded me of Ma uh, Coconut Mall. With a lucky roll. Nice! Here and some fun, some you know, personality to it, you know, to the actual boards. Oh, and, and it changes. It really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. Cool, cool. 
some mini games or action packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. These look fun. By gently shaking or tilting your Joy Con controller. These look fun. With over 110 mini games, oh, that looks so silly. Oh, wow. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head. I was about to say, like, what? Pathfinder mode. Compete against your rivals and aim oh wow, this my car looks. I mean, not my car. I mean, this Mario Party looks interesting. Wait, there are even more new modes. The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway. Oh wow! The Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. That's gonna be so fun, guys. That was the latest installment in the Mario Party series, Super Mario Party Jamboree, with new boards. That looks really fun. I'm really games. excited for that. I know because me and my friends are gonna have so much fun, you know, playing it and just you know, have such a fun city time. Series history. And now, please take a look at this. Okay, what's up? Let's see. Oh. Zelda game, what? Let's go. Tan Princess. Wait a minute, is this like DLC for the uh what's the name? Cool. What I can't, I forgot what it was called that came out. The Link's Awaken, the Link's Pass it in the style. I think we're gonna get like another like side like Zelda game. This is fun. Ding ding. And so cute. Love the style. Oh no, one's up. Wait, did Link just like go forever? What the hell? Oh, wait, do we get to play as her? Oh, that's awesome. Play with Zelda. And this looks beautiful. Wow. What? Echoes of Wisdom. Oh, this is completely new. Hello, everyone. Hi! I'm AJ Aonuma, producer of the Legend it's of Zelda Father. Series. What you just saw was the latest installment. It's Grandpa AJ Aonuma. Echoes of Wisdom. Our guy. This time around, Link has vanished. So this seems like a new game, but like they took like the um style that they used for the um. Links, whatever for this. Will Zelda fight with a sword then? This is so cool that we get to play Zelda though. That's amazing. Like what? Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. Wow. To explain more. That's very exciting. We got like a game this year that we get to play with Zelda and Peach. You know. Stolen away. It's really cool. Across the vast. Oh yeah, totally. Definitely same art style. Strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people. Including Link. Uh, including Link too. It's cool that they're really, you know, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri-Rod. Making games for the heroines, you know. For the female characters. I love that. By waving the Tri-Rod at a table show. Like, I love how we got like a Peach game and now we got like a Zelda game this year. I feel like that's really important and cool and awesome. You can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. Wow. It's going to be so you cool, like, you know, boxes, exploring with her and finding with her. Heads, it's going to be like a new experience, you know? Usual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised. So interesting too, because I mean, um, back when um, what's it called? Tears of the Kingdom came out. People were speculating that we might play with Zelda. We didn't, but different. it would be cool. It'd be nice if we get like a big mainline Zelda where we, where we just play as you know Zelda That's herself. All, That'd be amazing. Or maybe even Zelda and Link, you know, at the same time. That'd be cool. I'll be down for that too. They'll fight by your side. Oh, cool! Kind of similar to um, Smash. We know when she summons the um Phantom guy. She summons people for her. Wisdom is key after all. She has like the cool staff thing, you know? Wow. 
I'm pretty loving this. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's Oh, that's so pretty. Hands. How was that? I like hope it. you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies oh, wow. will change Best. depending on the Echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. That's cool, it keeps things fresh. Wisdom launches September That's kinda cool. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series they made will one. also be available at launch. God, you're looking forward and it's all gold and shiny and so that's going to sound out like crazy. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. That's so funny. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. That's exciting. I do love Let's that a lot. A few more headlines. Oh no, we come towards the end. He said a few more. Let loose and party on. Oh, just dance. I would say, I like how visually interesting these games have become over the years. You know, with the different backgrounds and stuff and people dancing. I will say that. I won't lie and say that, uh... I definitely have played some in the past too. They are fun for what they are, you know, and so do family. Oh, that's interesting. Like I said though, visually interesting. These games are visually interesting, I will say. Keep trying to clear in. Okay. Interesting. A new Lego adventure is oh wow! Did this come to Switch? It's the so Aloy is coming to Switch Horizons. The, the PlayStation game? That's interesting. No PlayStation, you know. Of course, it's on the full game, obviously. Like you know, they want to do, but like even it would be nice to Lego game. That's kind of interesting. Cool. Machines are okay. everywhere. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and I also feel like something like this they will want, you know, on all you know systems and they don't really care about it. Because that kid really is, you know, it fits Nintendo. You might even come across the fearsome thunder jaw. That's awesome though. That's wow. You can help Aloy Like I'm like I'm not really like, you know. Customize her appearance with lots of outfits. A huge fan of the love games, like I do play them and they are fun, okay, don't get it wrong. I'm just more so excited that, you know, they actually put it on the Switch for some reason, I don't know, that really just shocks me. I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like that they just wouldn't do that. But I guess they have to be in close, being close to the Xbox, you know, in PlayStation. The kitty game's coming! Stray. That's awesome that this has come over. It makes sense too, you know, this type of game. Honestly, it should have been over, in my opinion. Experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat separated from their. I hope you guys can hear me chewing. That's me and my sapphire scoots on the side. Known as B12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest heights, create new paths for yourself. Cool, cool. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. I watched like um Contra Points play this on her live stream channel. A game live stream channel. It's, it was really fun watching her play through it. Keep exploring to I can definitely tell it looks a bit um unfamiliar world a bit um and make your way back to safety visually um less dense than the other versions Stray finds its way onto Nintendo switch because that is down scale for switch but you know I guess it's to be expected so a cool and poop game welcome home Hobbit 
Hobbit game. If you've ever wanted to live like a hobbit from the Lord Interesting. of the Rings, now, okay. a yearly existence, sure. yes, away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize New your hobbit appearance, game. decorate your home, and that settle be on into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbor. I would say, in this direct, you know, it seems like there's definitely a game for everybody, you know. Or three. Explore, garden, Somebody is definitely a pick my interest. Cook. The best way to build My Luigi is by a highlight in the um, Zelda game, you know, and Mario Party also. That looks crazy. Trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special I wants to also. Or even tastier meals. Friendly hobbits and familiar faces really, um, cool away from the ride. Very um, mobile gold. Very average direct. I mean, Nintendo Switch system this holiday. Investigate, Ooh. interrogate, check. This is a remake, uh, a port or something. Two Ace Attorney spin-off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch oh, cool. as one collection. Not that. As the prolific Ace Attorney fans rise up. Edgeworth, take the case <laughs> out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes. Gather information by interviewing people. This and game's fan base is passionate and loud and kind of cool too. Challenging cases. They have wholesome people from what I know. All new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Oh, interesting. So that's completely redone. Okay. Explore the gallery where you'll find awesome. art, music, including orchestral arrangements and more. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th. Pre-orders begin later today okay, on Nintendo cool. eShop. Something soon for you, Ace Attorney fans. Oh, what's that? Wait, is this the Renko thing? Or is there another it's been game they're working on? On the Dagna Vampa people. Oh, that switched up really quick. I guess I can get out of there. After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. Oh wow. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. <laughs> Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. Wait, An is this a new game? In secrecy. The game might look a bit different. I love the character designs in these games. Of allies, I'm just studio, I will say. Really cool. Hundred day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life. The creators of Dongan Rampa present. The hundred line last Wow, this is new, yes! On Nintendo Switch early next year. I'm about to see, is this Van Code or not? Or what? No, it's completely different. Awesome. A saga spanning generations. Oh. A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo. Romancing Switch. Saga, that sounds familiar. I'd like to think about it for a second. That does sound familiar. Rule and expand the empire of Varen across multiple generations while challenging the legendary seven heroes who have turned. Yeah, I feel like I've seen this in a previous wreck before. In combat, use returning saga features like glimmers to learn skills and formations mm. to enhance abilities. Turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles, where the action order is key. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? Oh, sorry. And in which order will Hit you my mic back because I hope that wasn't too loud. Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. I was going to say we might be a fire emblem, but I don't think it does actually. I think it's like a well, combination of a couple of things actually. The designs are kind of interesting. Another Square Enix game. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Okay. Next will be our last announcement. Okay, is it going to be a big one? Let's see. Is this what? Is this Metroid? Wait, 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 wait. No. Wait a minute. Is this boy? Oh my god, what? No, wait. It might be like a remake or something. Is this for or what? What's happening here? No, it's for. It's 2D and stuff. What's happening? Oh my god. Dude. This has to be four, right? Like it doesn't look like any of the older games, so that's not just being stupid. Oh wow. This looks so crazy. Who's that? Oh, oh cool new baddie. It is! Whoa! Excellent Prime for Beyond! Let's go! We finally get to see it! Wait, date? Come on! And it's open world and it looks so. And this looks great, actually. Um, You know, for a Switch game. 2025, you know. That's what's up. I figured as much. I bet that's gonna be like a dual title on the Switch and the Switch 2, I bet you. It might look way better on the Switch 2. That was a first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. What? After a very long time, we are finally able to so share more information amazing. about the title. Nuts. Is planned for 2025. Crazy. So please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. I can't wait. That looks so exciting. Wow, we actually got to see it, guys. Thank you for watching. That's amazing. Wow, what an ending. I love that. So cool. Okay, that was already. So okay, guys, that was a really, really, really solid direct. Oh, yeah, I think I'm really. No, I think I'm content with that direct, you know, strong opening and strong, like, ender, you know, I love that a lot, and, like, you know, like, interesting games in between that, um, I'm excited for Mario Party, and, like, you know, the Zelda spinoff game looks amazing, um, wow, like, the Metroid looks fantastic, and it looks, like, visually, and, like, you know, comic-wise, and, like, you know, and, you know, how the levels work and whatnot, and, like, the environments, like, looks very, really worth it. We still know nothing about it clearly, but um, gonna take five. Uh, wow, like, it's gonna be so insane. It's crazy. Yeah, like Zelda, like Mario Luigi, like the Mario Party, like that's so great. Like Metro, like a lot of cool stuff. You know, like that Marvel's Capcom collection looked pretty interesting, you know. But like, it's like a lot of um, and you know, of course I decided to like a Mel Slug, you know, like I'm looking at right now, and like you know, the Roman Saga, and like you know, the new uh, oh yeah, the Octopath Traveler, um, HG2D, um, um, what's it called the uh, Drag Quest, like one, two, and three coming, like that's pretty nice. I love that style. I really need to put my game in that style, but um, yeah, like you know, a lot of cool indies and stuff, and, like you know, and, like small games, you know, Nathan and Tony, like you know, definitely something for everybody, I would say. Um, and with a, a couple of big, big, you know, ones in there also. I think, you know, I think this is a very balanced direct. Not bad. Not super duper amazing. Like, it kind of is close because, like, you know, Metro and stuff like that. Like, you know, that's kind of exciting. But, like, you know, I would say slightly above average, you know, Nintendo Direct. That was pretty cool. I love that. Alright, well, um, tell me in the comments below what you guys think about it, you know? What was your favorite thing that you liked about this direct? Okay, well, um, 
I think I'm gonna go now and um, I'm gonna catch y'all later and um, I'm gonna try to get this uploaded as fast as I can. <laughs> Alright, bye. Love y'all.